Hi folks, Mr. Ackerman here. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your website up and running. This is one of the most important parts of the course because your website is where you're going to display all of the great work that you're doing this semester. You can think of it as your portfolio online. So the first thing I want you to do is get yourself to Wix.com, W-I-X, and set up a user account. This is standard the same way you would do it for any site. And once you do that, you'll eventually find yourself looking at a screen like this. Now I've got a bunch of websites already created from previous courses, so you might not see this, but if, um, if, if you have set up sites, you will see stuff. If you're brand new to this, I don't think you're gonna see anything. So you're gonna click over here on create new site. When you get to that, I know you're gonna to wanna to click photography, but do not do this. We do not want that. We wanna to go to other, and then when you see that, click on the second one here create your website with the Wix editor. And then I know you're gonna scroll and see all these wonderful looking templates. Do not use them. I repeat, do not use these. I want you to start with a blank template. And the reason is I want you to design it. I wanna see your abilities in creating and planning. So go over here to blank templates, which, uh, sorry, we already did that. So we're gonna click over here, start from scratch and edit. And once you do that, Wix is gonna give you a completely blank Clear, uh, clear slate uh, of a website. And I wanna show you what all these buttons do and give you the uh, knowledge that you need to start building your own site. So first of all, this website has one page. If you click over here under pages, you'll see it's only got one page, which is called home. If I click on manage pages, it gives me the option to add a page. So maybe I want a home page and a nice thing to start with is an about page. So add page, name it about, and that's where you're gonna introduce yourself to the world. And you notice I got to type this with capital A and the rest was lowercase. I kinda of wanna do the same thing to the home page because I'm a bit of a neat freak like that. So rename this home like that. My website now has two pages, but there's nothing on these pages. They're completely blank. These lines are just guides that I get to see when I'm designing it. They don't actually show up to the general public. So. Which page do we want to work on first? Let's say it's the home page. So we go over here and we make sure home is highlighted. And what are we going to do? Why don't we add a title by adding some text? So go to the text option here. And here are a whole bunch of different text fonts that you can add, but you don't need to pick any one or the other. You can always change it later. Just pick the first one and then you'll see, there you go. It says heading one. Now double click in there and we're going to change this. I'm going to call it Rob Ackerman on one line and photography on the next line. I'm gonna highlight everything, go in here, maybe we'll center these things up like that. Uh, maybe I'll make the font a little bit bigger. Oops, now I notice that some of the word photography is down on another line. So X out of that and just click and drag this box a little bit wider like that so everything fits. Uh, maybe move it, watch what happens when I move it up. When I get to the middle of the page, this magenta line uh, shows up and when I go horizontally to the middle, that magenta line shows up. This is now centered on the page. Uh, let's go navigate to the about page or go edit the about page. It's blank. What do I want on my about page? Uh, maybe I'd like to add an image. So add, I'm going to add an image of myself so that people can see what I look like, get to know me a little bit. My image uploads. Now, like I said, I've been doing this for several semesters, so I have lots of images added but you might need to add something new. So go to upload, and from your computer now, you can navigate to where your images are. Or, if you want, you can go directly from social media, which is a nice little feature here. Wix has free images. Do not, I repeat, do not use these. I'm not interested in other people's photography. I'm interested in your photography and how great your work is, so don't use those. And Shutterstock images is, is kind of the same thing, but you have to pay for them. So. Back to my images, I'm on the about page. I'd like a picture of myself, maybe a portrait. Uh, if you hover over the image, it gives you some details. I like this one, so let's click on it. You see it's clicked, I'm gonna add it to page. And now I can click and drag. When it lines up with these guides, which help me center things up or keep them on the page of anyone's computer or phone, these things go magenta, so there, it's in the corner there. And if I'm happy with that, maybe I wanna add another little text box this one is just where I'm gonna write a little blurb about myself. So I might click and drag that over here. Uh, double click in there, 
font's a little big, so make it a little bit smaller, and type something, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Rob Ackerman, and I love photography. I hope you enjoy my work. Of course, you're going to want to say something deeper and more meaningful than that, but I'm just giving you an idea. If you don't like the font, double click and highlight everything and change the font. Maybe you want it to be script-like or maybe really, really thin or maybe looking like uh, something out of a movie like that. It's up to you. You've got a lot of choices here. I'll leave it to you guys to decide what you might want that to be. I'll X out of that. Now, at this point, you might want to see what your site actually looks like. So go to this, go to the preview button, and look what you have. Here's the page. It doesn't look too bad. It could be improved, of course, but at least things are starting to take shape. But how do I get back to my home page? There's no menu to click on anything here. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Let's go back to editor and let's add a menu down here. And here are some menu options. These are sample menus going ver or horizontally and then some that go vertically. I'm going to pick, uh, let me just do, go with the first one here, and look what it does. It gives me a menu here that I could move down here. I have two pages, so there's a home and an about. If you put it up here into the header section, it gives you a little warning attached to header, and you can center that up with the guides. And then it's going to say, if you put it up here, it's going to show uh, on all of the pages, which is actually what I want if you think about it. Because if I preview, I'm on my About page. Well, now I want to go to the Home page. There's my Home page. And the menu is still there, so I can get somewhere else. Like, let's say I had a third page. Let's go back to Editor. Let's go here, Manage Pages. We're going to add a page. What would the next one be? Maybe it's going to be one of your assignments. So uh, we could write Shooting Assignment 1, but that's starting to get kind of long. The first shooting assignment was people, places, and things. So maybe we could do something like that. We'll click Done. And now, if you X this out, look what's happened to the menu. It appears on this page because that was the option selected. Have this menu appear on all pages. Uh, now let's go to that page to play around with it. People, places, and things. And uh, in this assignment, you shot five images of people, five of places, five of things. So you have 15 images. Maybe there's five that you really like and you want to show them off. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm going to go add image and I'm going to add images one at a time. But this is actually not what you want to do. For a bunch of images, you want a gallery. Galleries allow easy organization of the images and when you click on them they can expand and show up bigger and you can also write captions that describe what people are seeing. There's all sorts of different gallery choices. Let's start with the first one here and that gets added. So here we go and you notice there's a bunch of images already there. They're not mine, they're from Wix. They're free and they're great but I don't want them. They're not your images so I don't want to see them. I want to see your images. So click on the box there and go to manage media and you'll see here are all of them. Let's select all and delete them because I don't want any of these. Instead, let's add images that are our own. So we'll go to add media, image, and again you can get them from your computer, you can get them from social media. I already have a bunch. Uh, some of these were taken around the school like this one, this one, this one. Uh, for people I could maybe pick this one. This is me and some of the other teachers at Thornley. So I've got some people images. I've got some places and maybe some things. So there we go. There's five images. That's, I'll just do one more. Six. There we go. So let's add those to page. And now I can order them around by clicking and dragging. I can also highlight an image and add a title. Like uh, this one here, you can't quite see it yet but it's some dandelions uh, just outside of one of the exits, outside of the rock exit of our school. So I can give it a title. I should be able to give it a title. It's not letting me give a title. I'm not quite sure why that is. I should be able to describe it here. I'm going to have to look into that for you guys. Uh, but for now, let's just leave that for a sec. Let's click Done and see what happens. Here they all are, nicely arranged. I don't have to click and drag anything. 
Let's preview what this looks like. If I now click on this image, it pops up. And you see I've got the image, the file name, which is not very professional. We want something nicer than that, but we can change that later. If I arrow across, here is another image and yet another. These are all images of the school that I've taken over the years. There's me, uh, Mr. Stone, and Miss Lerman, who is no longer with us. And uh, some close-up detail of, of chipping paint on one of the doors. And some crumbling uh, flooring, actually. You click X and you get out of it. Uh, let's go back to editor. One of the things I'm noticing is this gallery is a little too high up on the page. It's bumping up against the, the menu here. So if I go back to editor, all i got to do is pull that down a bit. Maybe I'll center it up on the page and then see how does that look. That's a lot better. The about page has a little bit of what I'm looking for. Again, these are a little too high. I'm going to go back to editor. I want to edit that page, so I do that in here. It's the about page. I'm going to pull this down a bit. I'm going to pull this text box down a bit. See how the magenta line tells me I'm in line with the photo. Let's preview. Much better. Much better and on the home page. Uh, this I think is a little too low. I could move it up. I could also add a little bit of uh, you know, some photos here, maybe change the background. I'm going to let you guys experiment with that, but the basics are now complete. There's just a few more things to do. Uh, back to editor. Always save your work. Wix may or may not autosave. I've heard horror stories where people did hours of work, didn't save it, logged out, lost everything. So click save just in case it doesn't autosave. When it does this, it's going to say, okay, this is your site. It's whatever your username is, .wixsite.com slash, and this one is called my site. I don't want it to be my site. Maybe I want it to be something like grade 11 photography, because I'm in grade 11. So I click good, done, and there we go. And then the final thing you got to do is you have to publish Otherwise, the world will never see it. All you've done by saving is actually save your work, but it's still invisible to the world. So publishing lets the world see it. And here's your site. If you double-click in there, and or triple-click maybe, and then you right-click copy, you now have your link, and you can share that with people. Click Done. And so if I go in here, and I right-click paste that link, let's see what comes up. There's my website. That's what the world is going to see. I've got different pages. I've got galleries. Remember, I didn't like what's written here, but we, uh, we can change that. I'll try to change it again in a minute. And there's my About page. And you can just keep adding pages. You're going to be adding pages as you go throughout the semester, and that's how I'm going to look at a lot of your work. So one more time, I'm going to give this a try, and if it doesn't work, then I'm going to end the video and look into it at a later time. I wanted to change the descriptions here. There we go. Now it's letting me change it. So the title should not be the file name out of your computer. Uh, this is the rock exit at our school, as it's called. So that's what I'm going to name it. And description, dandelions growing in the springtime near the rock exit at Thorn Lee. Okay, and we'll click Done. Now I can do that with all of these photos, and let's preview to see how that's coming up. Click. Million times better. That's exactly what we want. Something professional looking, something that people are going to like to look at. Okay, anyway, that's the basics. I think from here you guys can uh, take it away and make your sites awesome. You can change backgrounds by clicking in that area and clicking on these. Okay, you can make them solid colors or patterns. Uh, there's all sorts of other things you can do, like changing the size of your gallery like that. You can move this down a bit like that, stretch it out. You can make it take up all of the space that you've got, stretch to full width. I don't really recommend this. It spills off the edge of the screen, but there's a lot of things to explore. I hope you have a good time doing it. It's been my pleasure to help you guys get your galleries, uh, sorry, your portfolios, uh, visible to the world, and I'll see you in class. Thanks very much. Bye now.